102.7 Swift FM. All right, that's what we're calling it. It's Ryan Seacrest here. It's time for Ryan's Roses. This is interesting. Don't move. It may get complicated. Dana writes to us. Dear Ryan and Sissini, my husband and I are both bisexual, but we have a strict rule. He can play around with other guys, but no other women. I think he's breaking the rule. So Sounds messy. Grab Dana in West Covina. Dana, good morning, Dana. Thanks for coming on. Hey, oh my gosh. Thank you for helping me out here. Of course. So I'm trying to figure out what we need to know here. You have made I a, an agreement, right, for yeah, yeah. other people to be involved with your partner, which is, you know, potentially a slippery slope or a dangerous situation, right, because of what you now fear may be happening. Uh, you're comfortable with him being with other guys, Yes, we're both bi. And you're uncomfortable with him being with other women? Yes, and vice versa. And so you have the same rules for you that he has. And you're not breaking yes. those rules? No. Have you ever? I mean, it's... N no. Okay. I mean, no. It's just like, you know, that's been our rule pretty much since the beginning, you know. And in fact, it's funny because he was a super jealous um, guy, you know, when we first met. And, you know, but he and I were flirty, nothing happened. And but we enforced that one rule. He can't mess around with women. I can't mess around with guys. But we have this really great and like amazing mutual friend of ours. His name's Mark. He's super gay. He's awesome. He took me outside a um, couple, you know, whatever ago, a couple days ago, and he said he's pretty much sure that my husband is hooking up with a woman, which breaks our rules, named Shannon, who they, you know, all met at a club one night, and Mark thought I should know, and, you know, what Adam is up to. So, you know, I, I just, before I confront Adam, I just really want to make sure, you know, so, hence, I want to see who he sends the roses to. Okay. All right, got it. I think we can do this next. So okay. If you just hang on. I think we have all the information we need. If you can hang on for one second. Yeah, will... absolutely. I know you, it might be, like, you're probably sounding as confused as my parents when I try to explain our relationship. But anyway. I mean, I think you made it very clear to us. Yeah. Uh, okay, we're into Ryan's Roses, so I need to give you some quick facts here so you can follow along. Dana and her husband are bisexual. They have a strict rule. He can be with other guys. She can be with other women, but they can't cross. Right. So uh, and she thinks that her husband has been, as breaking the rule, has been with another woman named Shannon. So that's where we are. Because she their wants friend to know. Mark told her, her oh, that. Right, so... She needs to know if he's broken the rule in their arrangement. Dana, thank you for holding on. I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call and then your husband's name on KISS FM. Go ahead. Ryan, you have my permission to call on KISS FM. Okay. Stand by. We are going to do that. Be very quiet until we find out from him who's top of mind, who he sends the flowers to, and then we will tell him he's on the air before you say anything. Okay, here we go, and good luck. Okay. Hello. Hi, is this Adam? It is. Hi, my name is Amanda. I'm calling from West Covina Florista. We are actually a floral design company that delivers fresh arrangements here locally and around LA. And today we're offering local residents a promotion of a free dozen red roses that you can send to anybody that you'd like. I don't need cash or billing information. Um, they're absolutely free. You can send them to anyone, just need the name of the person and we can write a note. Is that something you'd be interested in? Um, sorry, I, I won something. It's a promotion that we do about once a month. They're absolutely free. I'm just trying to promote my, my new business. And if you're pleased with our arrangements, we hope that you come back as a customer or maybe, you know, leave us a review. 
or a Google review, Yelp review or something like that. Um, but mm. for now, these are free. Okay. Well, I, I win something. It can't be a, a, a car or a lottery. It's some, some flowers. Great. Yes, sir. Um, we can start with the note. Is there anybody you want to send them to? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll take them. Um, I, her name is, uh, a Shan, Shan, short for Shannon. So S H A N or double N? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can Shan, Shan or Shannon, what, what, either. Okay. Well, what would you like to put on the card? Well, how about, um, is it Saturday yet? Is it Saturday yet? It's kind of cute. Yeah. Okay. Adam, your voice is being broadcast on the radio, and I have your wife, Dana, on the line. Can you talk about why you sent roses to Shannon right now? Wait, I, I'm on the radio now? What, why? Correct. That is correct. Why am I? Well, that's, okay, whoa, whoa. Ex that's exactly what we're trying to find out. Why are you on the radio? And Dana is wondering why you're sending. The so if you explain that, we'll know why you're here. Uh, why are you sending roses to Shannon and not your wife? What do you need to tell your wife? If you're being transparent, just be open and honest with your wife. What do you need to tell her? Nothing. She, she's a friend of mine, so, yeah. Well, so, Dana, why don't you tell your husband what you know? What? Hello? Um, hello? Hi. Um, hey, I'm here. What are you doing? Can you, can you just explain to me what's going on? What? What do you, what do you, what do you mean what's going on? What are you talking about? Adam! Adam! Just explain what's going on. God, I knew it. I knew it. I knew you were sleeping with Chan. <laughs> I knew it. Well, you, I knew you're, it. You're, trying it. To, you're trying to catch oh, wow. me having an affair? We have an open marriage. What are, you, what are you talking about? No, we don't. We don't. I mean, like, we do, but... We have our rules, Adam, and, and you are breaking the rules, and this is cheating. This is cheating. No, no, no yes. it's not cheating. No. Yes, yes. No, it's not cheating any more than it was cheating when you slept with Jeff, so. I never slept with oh. Jeff. I okay, never yeah. slept with Jeff. So yeah. I told you, Adam. Yeah, we, we, I know you did. We know you did. Your whole office knows you did. So, yeah, now I'm seeing Shannon. So I, I just want to yeah, jump in for a second as I'm trying to follow along Adam and Dana. Adam, you're admitting to having an affair with Shannon? No. no. Yes, it, you are. You were. What, what, what's happening Saturday night? Huh? Nothing. Shannon. What's happening? We're, we're... And from what I understand, you, you broke a rule in your relationship and your marriage and you were with Shannon. Is that accurate? Can we say that's safe to say? No, I, I don't. I don't think so because she. No, when when she hooked up with Jeff, all, all the rules to. changed. So she okay, changed the so, rules. I didn't okay, change but, but, the rules. Okay, but you did do it. If you you did it, you know, to respond to what she did, you did it. Got it. Okay, so let's put that aside. Now, Dana, did you break the rule first? Yeah, we asked you if no, you did. I, I never hooked up with Jeff. I never. Why does, why does he think? Why you does did? the office think you did? I don't know. I mean, I just, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I honestly, I have no idea. I never hooked up with Jeff. And so, you know, he's, Adam's just trying to throw this back in my face because so here's the he's problem. now gotten caught with. I think, you know, I think it sounds like Adam's with Shannon. I, maybe you're with Jeff. Here's the problem from my view. Once you've opened the door for other people, this is a very possible outcome where we are. Not the first time we've seen this here. I'm going to let you guys go. I think, Dana, to your question, I believe Adam did do something with Shannon. And uh, you should take it yeah. from here based on what agreement you guys have. Thank you very much for coming on. And good luck.